Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I will be talking about some do's and don'ts of borderline personality disorder. My name is Olivia. I have BPD, OCD, ADHD, anxiety, depression, and autism. Almost forgot. So let's get into the video. Number one for a do not with BPD is to ask them sarcastically if they really feel like that. It's just condescending and we feel things very genuinely. We're not making things up. Um, ask if they, number two, ask if they think and then insert an absurd exaggeration of the situation. We most likely know that it seems like we're overreacting, but we're not. We're just really sensitive. Uh, number three, get upset with them for being upset. We can't control it. We are just that genuinely upset. Obviously, we still need to be responsible for things we say and do, but know that we can't regulate our emotions. That's the whole personality disorder. Uh, number four, antagonize them. So just don't be antagonizing again we have little control over our emotions and it just doesn't help it just don't shame us for how we're reacting um don't dismiss mock or ignore our feelings they're genuine even though they may seem over the top they're real and we genuinely feel that way number six make the make threats and ultimatums um it just doesn't help either like one of the do's i'll say is like set boundaries so totally set boundaries and expectations but don't threaten something that you're not going to follow through with so for some do's do understand that you can't cure or control it, neither can we. Um, with some DBT and different therapies and stuff, we can learn how to better control it, but a lot of it is out of our control. Uh, number two, try to make the person with BPD feel heard. We have a lot of feelings and a lot of things to say Please just listen to us. Number three, set boundaries. If you want to have a healthy relationship with someone with BPD, you definitely need to have boundaries. And it's super important. Number four, remind us that you don't hate us. We have a lack of emotional permanence. So a reminder that you're not going to leave or that you genuinely love us and care about us is really helpful especially if it's not prompted if just out of the blue you like send a message or something and are like thinking about you or I really care about you or you mean a lot to me it really helps because we have trouble remembering that number five do some research it is so helpful and it just means so much that someone is willing to take time out of their schedule to look into something that you struggle with. Number six, we aren't all toxic. Obviously, with setting boundaries and different things like that, that will help have healthy relationships. But we're not all toxic people. Just like people without borderline personality disorder, we can be toxic or not. Understand we don't choose to be like this. We're not trying to be over emotional or overly sensitive. And last but not least, listen patiently. Um, with a loop back to setting boundaries is really important. Um, let us know when is an okay time to share our feelings because we have a tendency to overshare and we're just not good at 
knowing when or where to talk about our feelings because we just have them so intensely all the time. But yeah, so those are a couple of do's and don'ts with borderline personality disorder. Thanks for watching and have a great day.